Yes. You guys going to school? Yes. Oh, where your teacher? Where your parents? I did school. Oh, so you're going to a morning school or afternoon school? Afternoon. No, no adults, no parents to carry you. Can carry yourself. Yo. So every day you go to school by yourself. Yes. Where your books, your uniform, nothing. No yeah, books. Uniform. What a uniform. Oh, so you're going to school now. Then you're finishing your walk back to school. Yes. By yourself. Yes. Oh. You don't see no snake on the road or nothing. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. The motorbike coming. You're, you're going now. Coming. You're clearly where the motorbike comes. Oh, Stay right there. The motorbike coming. You're clearly the road, okay? So, what grade are you in? First grade. What grade are you in? You know, garden kid to uh, into get up the road. Sorry. What grade you in? First grade. K two. You in the first grade? What grade you in? What you guys eating? Apple. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, you go to school. Now. We make your leg. You go to school, okay? So everybody in K two, the rest of you first grade. Mommy, go to school now. Can't get them one plastic of water. They say one water to drink. You wait some other man give it to you. <laughs> you take your water and go now. You go to school. Don't be late for school. Okay. You drink your plastic water. You go, okay? <laughs> Mama, you be on your way before you get late for school. Take your water. Let's go. All right. You got everybody got water. Yeah. You're welcome, son. Yeah, man, everybody got water. Everybody got water. Yeah, yeah. But he's, the man asking. He's standing there. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Eh? Yeah. You go to school. You be good. Okay. Who want to be teacher? Me. Who want to be doctor? I want to be doctor. Who want to be lawyer? Me. You want to be teacher? Yeah, I want to be doctor. You want to be doctor? Wonderful, you'll be a doctor. And who want to be a farmer? Teacher me. Yeah, Wonderful. Me. Good. I want to be a pastor. You want to be a pastor? I want to be oh. a deacon. You want to be the deacon? Yeah. Wonderful. You go now. Jesus keep you safe, eh? You go to school. You drink your water and be safe, okay? You go now, you'll be late for school. Oh, yeah. oh sorry. Yeah. Oh, it's not far from here. Yeah. Oh, it's right down there. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was far. I thought it was far away. Okay. Okay, I see you. Okay. You'll be careful, all right? Get out. You go drink that water, you won't get sick and can't vomit. Get in the car. So you guys, you see, in the case of the American woman, I thought I was speaking Liberian, maybe I was speaking serious. He's just wagging her butt. We're, we're waiting by the roadside because some client want to see the land and do some videos and pictures and stuff. So anyway, you see them kids walking to school? So them is not far because they are used to it. Mm. So you and I are going to be too far. You put the African heat. It's the heat I can't handle. What? But well, I'm standing on the dusty road. This is the road to the beach. This is the second property. We got we found a third one. This is the second property before you get to my land. This area we got enough land for business and for residential. Yes. Yes. You see the kids? This is the dusty road. I've been telling you guys. All the land on the dusty road. Nobody wants to purchase it yet. And I've given you guys so many ideas. So you guys, you see, I've been telling you guys about this dusty road over here. See the dusty road to my right? The dusty road, I mean the land to the dusty road to my right. And behind me or to my left. Let me see. Okay, see the land behind me? They're both hitting the dusty road. If I turn around, you see the land? I'm standing on the dusty road. See the land is behind me, but the land to the left and to the right. Now I'm standing on the dusty road. You can see the land here and the other side. Everybody wants to get beachfront. Ain't nothing wrong with beachfront. Beachfront land is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. However, the land on the dusty road from the dusty road to the beach. Who wants to buy that? Once the beachfront is is sold out, what you what you guys gonna do? We can maybe put some maybe not on the dusty road, but maybe into the land a little bit. Yeah, maybe let me see. Let me turn this way. Uh -huh, you see the land on the dusty road behind me. You see, if you walk in, it takes about five to ten minutes walk to hit the beach behind me. 
and then if I turn the other way, it takes about five to ten minutes to walk to hit the lagoon behind me. So to my left is the lagoon, to my right is the beach. You see, and the dust road is in the middle. This dust road become the main highway, the main paved road as the place gets developed. But imagine driving on this road, gas station, restaurant, movie theater, gym, um, smoothie bars, boutique, nail salon, spa. Us ladies who come get our, our daily spa, our personal day treatment, all that stuff. Clinic, dentist clinic, podiatrist, physical therapist, counseling, marital counseling, alteration, dry cleaners. I'm just giving you countless ideas. Building materials. Do we need building materials? You guys, please come. Because as I'm selling land, every day I'm out here selling land to people. There is not one building material shop in this area. This whole compound one, you have to go to Bikana, which is another 40, 45 minutes away. And when you do find your building material, sometimes the transportation just to bring the building material to your site. Sometimes the transportation costs more than the material itself. I'm telling you for a fact. That's what I've experienced. So this is not ASA secondhand opinion. This is a fact from my lips. I, my house is almost done. But this is what I went through. That's what I'm telling you guys. Come! And open up your building material shop, you all won't come. Why should I give my money to all the Lebanese and the Chinese and the Indians? Eh? Why should I give it to them? When we got Liberians sitting up in America, UK, Canada, we got Liberians, Nigerians, African American, Black American. You know the law in Liberia? I, this is the law, I didn't make it. Only blacks can own land in Liberia. The Lebanese and Chinese and Indians that have businesses here, they just lease the land from the local. So let's say if I have 10 acres or 20 acres and they think it's a prime property for business, they will just get into contract and agreement with me. They might want to lease it for 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, whatever. We will sign, we'll sign the agreement, they pay me, and they will lease the land to the business. But they are here. So they cannot own land, but it doesn't stop them from investing and having businesses here you who have the right to own land why talk to me somebody why are you not here the lebanese the chinese the indians the europeans and other foreigners that are not allowed to own land they're here running businesses and living comfortable life they're living their best life here and it's not their homeland and they are not allowed to own land but that hasn't stopped them that doesn't stop them from coming here investing and living a good life some of you who were born here, as they say in Liberia, your neighbor stream, your belly button, your belly button was buried in the soil. And the sad thing is, some of you have no interest in returning. Ain't that something? But those of you who have interest in returning, why are you not returning? I know some of you got to put things into place. Okay, keep putting things into place. But start by first purchasing your land. So I want to see, we're in May, I want by December. All this, this land on this dusty road, over 4,000 acres of land on the dusty road, right off the main dusty road. You see the dusty road? To my left, to my right, you see the land? For 4,000 acres of land on the dusty road, waiting for you. I want it all sold out. I want it sold out. If you don't, the Indian, the Lebanese, the Chinese, they come here, they lease it, they take it, then you see they're taking over. They are dominating the market. If I want to purchase building materials, I have to go to them. Eh? I have to go to them. Why do I have to when I have you? Thank God the sun went down. The shade is nice and breezy now. You see, I have to go to them. I don't. I shouldn't have to, but I do. I much rather patronize and give my money to locally uh, Liberian-owned businesses locally, or those of you in the diaspora, whether USA, UK, wherever you are, come home. And you don't have to be a Liberian. The law in Liberia is once you are black, so you can be a Ghanaian. There are the Ghanaians here, there are the Nigerians, other foreign Africans, nationals, they are here living their best lives because they can, own, they can own land because they are black. That is Liberia's law from inception. I'm not about to change it. I'm not in politics. I'm just telling you what the law is. If it offends you, you know what to do with it. But those are my people, my brothers and sisters who are not blacks. Come. You are of other nationality. You can lease the land from people like us now. Uh -huh. You lease the land. 10 years, 5 years, 50 years, whatever the lease agreement, you can lease it, no problem. There are other foreigners here who are not blacks, who are not Africans. And they are, they are um, 
they are living here sometimes three four five generations they are here they just renewed their lease or they found another better land moved to another place but they're living great because their money from their country here it's a lot of money when they change into the currency here we do have u.s currency and we have our local currency it's called liberty or the liberian dollar i also want to plead to all of those retirees if you are retiring if you are retirees in the west and your your two thousand U.S. dollar or two thousand is a pound or euros, it cannot go anywhere. That two thousand U.S. dollar or two thousand euros or two thousand pounds, you can live like a king or queen or dignitary right here in Liberia, because you can get a decent apartment, a minimum a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment with electricity, running water between 200 to 500 US dollar a month. That's just for the rent. And I say between 250 and 500 because it depends on the neighborhood, any kind of extra luxury and other things you want. I think my people, my clients are coming back. Excuse me. Between 200, they're coming back. So I have to control this conversation. Yes. Let's pause. We gotta go to the other. So, you guys, how was it? Talk to me, somebody. How was it? You like it? Are you bringing me some fruits? Oh, let's go eat some. Is it monkey apple or chicken apple? I will. I will. Ooh, what is that thing? I will start charging you every time they come. They come with a handful of monkey apple. Let's go. <laughs>